I'd like to share a little bit about ahamoku because people hear the term ahamoku and what is the ahamoku? So that was the history part. So the mission statement, the oleloho ike of the ahamoku is kamala ma'ana o na kumu vai vai o ka'aina mauka makai amenakai e walu o Hawaii pai moku ika pono. What does that mean? The caretakership of the resources of the land, from the mountains to the seashore, and the eight bordering seas of the Hawaiian Islands, and in the natural perfect order, that which is the pono. But what is the ahamoku? Well, we have to look at the word because in the word themselves are the covenants, you see. Aya ika olelo keola, aya ika olelo kamake, manakaleo. That's an old proverb from our kupuna that said, in the language there is life and in the language there is death. The language has authority. Well, what is the authority of the language when it comes to the term aha moku? First, the aha is an assembly. The aha moku is the assembly of the moku. Now, each island itself is a moku, but the islands are divided into large districts that are known as the moku, like Ko'olau Poko, and within the moku are the ahupua'a, the smaller districts like Kailua, Kane Ohe, Eeia, and so forth. But the aha is not only an assembly, it is also a religious service. And I want you to hold that thought about the religion's religious service as I begin to explain the foundation of the ahamoku. Now the aha, the aha is also the cord. And this cord was a very sacred cord and it served many, many functions. But in the term ahamoku, we're talking about the cord joining all the moku together in this assembly. That is the ahamoku. I've already shared with you the vision, the mission statement of what we're about and what we're doing and what is the foundation. Well, there are three main foundations to ahamoku. Number one, kahelu e kahi, kamala ma'ana o ke akua i kapono. To honor and respect the akua, the aumakua, the kupuna, as caretakers with proper order and protocol. So when you come to see ahamoku, the first thing we look at in our kokua, in our support, in the work that we're doing is how does this work serve our akua and our aumakua? within the covenant of those words. Helu e kahi, kamala ma'ana o ka'aina i kapono. To honor and respect the land as caretakers with proper order and protocol. Because you see, if we're gonna protect the natural resources of the land and the kai, the sea, yeah, we have to do it with pono, proper order. Because the aina, the land and the sea, provides the aina, the meal for the table. And then we have the word aha, aina, a meal, not just a meal, a meal with protocol and order in which the akua is honored. Then we come to kahelu e kolu. Kahelu e kolu, kamala ma'ana ona ivi hanau o aina i kapono to honor the descendants born from the land as caretakers with proper order and protocol. So we all, we're all kahu. In ahumoku, no more ali'i. We no more ali'is, we get all kahu. 
everybody serves as kahu, the kahu of the ahupua'a, the kahu of the moku, and the kahu of the larger boku, the island itself. Our work is about working with the people to bring the voices of the people from their ahupua'a, from their moku, bringing it forward, voicing their concerns about issues that are now impending their lifestyle. You see, many, many people are moving to Hawaii right now, but there are families that have been here five generations, 10 generations, 20 generations, 30 generations that are ingrained in this aina, the ivi hanau oka aina. Yet, the ahamoku doesn't separate anybody from the foundation, from the focuses and from the objectives because if we all love Hawaii and we all like protect the natural resources for today, tomorrow, for the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren and the great-grandchildren, then we have to work together as communities and greater communities as we come together in the aha to work together to find a solution and success for what works best uniquely in the different ahupua'a and the different moku to bring together the knowledge, the ike of the kupuna, who know and understand kupu, kupuana, meka ike ona kupuna, grow with wisdom, skill, knowledge from the kupuna. One of the main aspects of ahamoku is the aha kupuna, the council of kupuna. People like myself and others who have and were trained with that wisdom and that knowledge, the insight that we need today as we move forward as the people of Hawaii to not only preserve, to perpetuate our natural resources. This is not about us working with private entities and organizations who have their own agenda. This is about us working together as a people. We aha, we meet, we aha, we honor the akua, we aha, we meet and we honor the aina, we aha, and we meet and we honor the ivi hanau oka aina. This is kuleana. This is huge responsibility and we need kokua. We need help. We need help because we need the kupuna to guide the process. You know, I gave a talk just not too long ago and I told them, Anamo one MA, Anamo one PhD, but I gave one K-U-P-U-N-A. <laughs> And with that K-U-P-U-N-A, yeah, get plenty Ike, because I grew up in the house of my kupuna. I was Hanaiia fed by the knowledge of my kupuna. And lo and behold, I've become my kupuna. So I went earn the K-U-P-U-N-A. And I asked all the kupuna to kokua, because your light, your guidance, your wisdom, your knowledge through the years of growth, it's of great wealth. The wealth of the knowledge of our kupuna is pono, it's proper, it's the perfect order. And we need that perfect order because we are the guides. We are the guides. The makua follow, 
da opio falo da makua, da keiki falo da opua, uh, da opio, because that is the natural order. You see, the natural order is akua at the top. See, below the akua is the aumakua, followed by the pupuna, then the makua, then the opio, then the keiki. It doesn't go the other way. Because when you put the opio before the kupuna, then you're taking the pono right out of its natural order. Kupu, grow. Kupuana, growing. Kupuna, ancestor, grandparent. The covenant of these words are so very, very important. And it is very, very connected to the ahamoku. Working recently in several of the projects, we, were, we, we, you know, I'm very thankful. I'm mahalo kea kua for everything because we were able to succeed. But it looks like, it looks like our challenges grow every day. It looks like our challenges grow every day. I was just assisting Lemana in uh, a reply to a Senate bill that I have great concern about because it directly concerns each and every one of us because entities like come in and they like steer the canoe in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. I have only one vision of the path of this canoe called Ahamoku. One, we have to work with Akua as the guide. The Akua the Aumakua and the Pupuna, they are the Na'au-Au. -au. They are the light and the wisdom. Two, Malama Anauka Aina. We have to take care of our Aina. Mauka Amakai Aike Kai. Because that's going to be our future. If we don't set now the foundations of how we're going to take care of that and that thing run away, we're going to be in big problem. We're going to have big pilikia nui. Thirdly, kamalama ono ivi hanau oka aina. If you like save your aina, you like save our traditional ways, you like save our gathering rights, you like save our fishing rights, there's all these things involved in that. If you like save Hawaii, then we have to work together. And that is just a small vision of what we're doing with Ahamoku. So I know Le Aloha Kaluhiva is a big part of Ahamoku and so is Lemana Damate. She's also a big part of Ahamoku. When I go to the meetings, I always introduce them as Le Aloha, as the lay of Aloha. And Lemana is the lay that get the mana of the pen because she write out all these replies to all of these things that are happening. And it goes very, very fast. In my mind, as a kupuna, yeah, too fast. People doing things too fast without thinking properly. Tutu always said, e ho o vanui. My viki viki mai oi, o ho o hema hema. When you go into something and you rush, like in all these Senate bills, that people go in pupule, and you never take the time to go slowly, the outcome is going to be utter confusion. That's what our ancestors said. It applied back then, it applies today. Everything going to be hema hema. Nothing going to be pono and nothing going to be pololei. Oya ho iha. Pauno kaha e olelo ya oko. 